What's up guys, back again with another video as you already know, and as you can see from the top, we're talking about sex. So with this topic in particular, one thing I can strongly say is I feel like when you go away to college versus when you stay at home and commute to college, like you have, you do way more, you do way more because you have dorms, you have hormones, you're in a building full of people with hormones, you're in a room shared with another body who has another body who has hormones and you, all the hormones are just everywhere and you're just doing so much especially like the freshman year like your freshman year you're out of control and then once you go to sophomore you know you're kind of simmer down and there's a difference between men and women you know men they have higher testosterone higher sex drive and this and that as they get older but women you know they start to decrease it so that's why you see a lot of like s seniors and freshmen or like let's say juniors and sophomores you know kind of mingling between the four different groups but there are rules to this there are rules to this sex in college all right i strongly strongly recommend everyone use a condom use a condom use a vaginal condom use lube always use lube the, whether it's heterosex or homosexual sex always use lube and always use condoms it does not matter if y'all in a relationship if y'all knew each other always use condoms unless both of y'all went to the same doctor and got tested for the same things and then y'all are strong together and know to get married and everything always use condoms they will help you because sometimes the moment you do something one time your first time it being um it being unprotected you could get something like chlamydia or god forbid gonorrhea or lord forgive you or just jesus like please don't like HIV or AIDS like you do not want any of this and in college people don't get tested a lot People don't already always know their status or sometimes their health clinic does not always tell them they don't tell them all the um, Programs that they have so people don't know to go and like say hey I need to get tested for STIs STDs HIV AIDS and like Syphilu and like everything okay, so just guys always use guns always use guns secondly when you're experimenting, all right, this is especially, ooh, this is especially for my homosexual men. Do not just like, okay, they could be that one straight or that one DL dude that's just like, oh, they're into you or whatnot. But don't just fall right into it because nine times out of ten, they're just playing you. Like, they don't, they just want to get the experience, but after college, they're not going to feel that way. They're not going to just uh, imagine, they're not just going to term homosexual just for you. Just one person going to change the whole sexuality. It don't always happen like that. Okay, no. And for my heterosexuals, okay, girls, you know, if you find out a guy is bisexual, you know, if you've been with um, guys in the third, don't just assume that he has AIDS or don't assume that he has HIV or don't assume, like, the worst of them. There are guys that are bisexual, just like there are women that are bisexual. We need to stop these stigmas about bi being bisexual, about HIV, about chlamydia. Like, we have a lot more medicines for, like, the chlamydia um, curing for HIV treatments. We have a lot more um, understanding of what it means to be bisexual, bisexual pride, being transgender, just having the gender fluidity. Just because someone acts feminine does not make them gay. Okay, so college is gonna be an open experience. So if you are one of the people that stay in a dorm or whatnot, it's good to explore. Just when you explore, just be protected. And at least have not necessarily someone to talk about like don't just instantly just take one person to talk about but you know that best friend from high school that you still talk to that best friend from your own time just to talk to or someone that's been through the sexual experience to tell you don't let people peer pressure you into oh girl you still got your virginity you need to lose that like no it's your body your choice male or female your body your choice do not get forced into things do not do situationships and things like that that are going to hurt you okay it's self-love Yes, in college. I'm sorry, parents. In college, sex happens. Sex happens. Now, don't don't try to make your son or daughter go to a school that's close to home where they can commute and they got a car and everything like that just because you don't want them to happen. Because little do you know, they take the person to your house. Like, what what's worse? You, huh, you having sex when your parents walk in or you having sex when the RAs walk in? Strongly believe it's the parents. Ooh, the parents is worse because the RAs, they're not going to go and snitch. They're not going to go tell everybody there's a code of conduct. They're not going to just, you know, just spread out all your business, you know? And they'll just knock on your door and go in your room randomly. But still, guys, come on. Sex happens. Just be protected. Use one of these. Use some lube.
clean your insides before you do something. Be good to yourself. Be good to the other person. You know, sex is not... <clears throat> if you're a virgin, you know, keep your flower if you want to. You know, if you're not, you know, your cherries already popped. Do what you want to. But just, you know, be protected. Whether you want to prostitute, whether you want to make prices, just be protected. And just know, sex happens in college. And I strongly believe it happens more in dormitories and being away from home than back at home. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Sex happens. Let's talk about sex, baby. We're talking about you and me. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight.